Alright, next up we're going to make a Paisley Tele guitar body. We've got this beautiful Paduke hollowed out guitar body. It's a sandwich style guitar where I routed out each half and glued it together. Held it together with some maple dowel rods to keep the pieces lined up correctly. First thing is we're going to trace out on the paper the size of the guitar body. Going to make sure it's just slightly big. You don't want it too loose but just big enough to sick down. Then I'm going to take the Zinzer wallpaper glue and slap it on here with a credit card. Just going to apply it back and forth here. Get a nice even coat. Speed up the video here a second. As I was applying this I realized the credit card was taking way too long and decided to just glop it on with my fingers here. Got a nice even coat this way. Got a little bit better control. I wipe off any of the excess on the sides. Clean off my hands and go ahead and fit it on. Make sure it fits properly. And then we're going to go ahead and just start smoothing out the paper starting from the center getting all the bubbles out, making sure it's flat across the piece of wood. You want to ensure that you don't have any bubbles, that way you don't have a mess to clean up later. Then what I'm going to do is take a flat board, get some weights, and just let this sit for a couple minutes with the weights on it. Make sure that it is completely flat. I'm going to rub the weight back and forth here just to make sure I've got some even distribution. So I've got about 100 pounds in weights on here now. What we'll do is we'll just let this sit for about 10 minutes. Make sure that the paper's flat. So after that 10 minutes, we pull the top off. And just let it sit like this. Then what I'm going to do is take a X-Acto knife and begin to cut along the edge where the rest of the paper was. Just going to go slow and cut around the body where I have the paper left over. You just go slow. Don't worry about the lip. We'll fix that in a little bit. Here we'll speed this up. And I just kind of use an up and down methodology to cut the paper. You can also use a razor blade, but I've got an exacto knife, so we'll just use that. It looked pretty good. Then we'll go to the front side here. And this body was prepped with 240 grit before I did any of this, so this body was fine. I'll sand it on the top, back, and sides. Same thing before, you trace out the pattern, plop on some glue, make sure you've got a nice even coat. So I'm going to take off the gloves, place the top on, and again just start pushing from the middle. Make sure you get all the air bubbles out. Got a little bit of a roller here. I'm just going to roll it out. Thought this might actually work better than my hand, but it didn't. So just checking the sides, making sure it's all down, correct on the piece of wood. Again, we're going to put the weights on and let it sit for a couple minutes. Then here we'll come back again and cut out the control cavities, the pickup cavities, the neck cavities. Again, I'm just using that up and down motion cutting the paper. It's nice and tight. There's no air bubbles. There's no wrinkles in the paper. This actually turned out really nice. I purchased this pattern off of eBay. was searching for Paisley patterns on eBay and found 
this piece out of the UK. There's a couple different patterns like this. I thought this was the coolest. I'm gonna make this guitar for my daughter. She's kind of obsessed with the coloring. So here we're gonna cut out the pickup cavities, speed up the video a little bit. What's nice about this is you really don't have a whole lot of sanding to do. And you get the body pretty clean. You pop on this wallpaper and you look pretty close to being done. So one thing on the sides that there's a little bit of a lip from the wallpaper. You know, it is you know, a thick piece of paper. So what I did is took a hand sander and this is 400 grit sandpaper and I just sand off the edge so that I get that lip flat. Once I'm done sanding and this is all ready, I have to feather the pink and silver highlighting that I'll be doing on the edge to get kind of a burst to get this all to blend in. So the sanding back and forth is really key in terms of getting that lip flat. So you can see in this group of pictures here, these first two pictures are what the edge looked like before I sanded. This is after cutting. See that little lip there. And then this is after sanding. I've got a nice perfect edge. So this allows me to not use fill all over the edge and taper it in. But Paducah is an open grain wood, so I need to use the wonder fill on the sides where I don't have any paper. I didn't want to put paper on the sides because that seemed like a potential mess. So I get the wonder fill to kind of a watery toothpaste-ish type of feel. Take a little damp rag and just rub in the wonder fill where the body is exposed. So we'll just forward this. Didn't take all that long. Took a couple minutes. We'll let it dry. And what we'll do is we'll come back with 400 grit sandpaper and sand it clean so that the filler is just in the grain and it's just in the open pores. So here I've got 400 grit sandpaper and you can see it's kind of pasty covering the body and I'm just going to slowly go back and sand this off then so that the only filler is really in the pores. So not too much cleanup here. Probably if I'd used poplar or a closed grain piece of wood wouldn't have to do this. But I've been sitting on this guitar body for quite some time. So then here are a couple pictures of what it looks like after the paste is dried and then after I've sanded it off. So you can see the fillers just in the pores. So part two will be coming as it gets a little bit warmer here in Chicago. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.